what do you feel as lieutenant governor or governor that the state should be doing uh, against things like uh, uh, the Endangered Species Act being kind of put down by the EPA, the 100 low lead fuel uh, limitations being imposed on a rapid level in October that will affect all aviation to rural Alaska. What are your thoughts and actions as Lieutenant Governor that the role of the state is to battle those issues? Okay, I'm going to ask that this only be two minutes because we're kind of, we want to give you a wrap up time too. And we'll start with Mead, I think. Sue, stand up, shout, holler, scream, figure out ways to get out of it. If we can get out of it, and there are lots of ways to get out of it. One of the ways the federal government gets us tied up in these knots is they give us money and then there's strings attached. There's a lot of things they give us money for we just don't need. Say no. It's easier to say no than to take the rules that come along with it. When we sue, we need to we need to sue loudly, we need to sue aggressively. We had a section in the Attorney General's office that worked on federal state relations and I think that needs to be much more of a permanent section uh, and, and, and be strengthened. And finally, I, I'm just a, an Alaskan who, during the D2 days when they were setting up the law, some of the ground rules they're now breaking, and I'll talk about that, uh, we got armies of Alaskans to get on airplanes to go back to Washington and make, make our feelings known. And we got some major things, some major concessions there that helped our minds, helped us with access, and, and I've led an effort at the Institute of the North to keep reminding, to teaching the federal bureaucrats that Alaska is different, <coughs> that we are allowed to have subsistence, and we are allowed to have hunting in our national parks, and you just can't shut it down in the dark of night, <coughs> that we are allowed to have leasing in our national forests, and you can't just shut it down with a plan that nobody's, nobody's working on. And the state has some people buried in the Department of uh, Fish and Game, some people at Natural Resources, some people at DEC, who are helping us make those fights, but we have to strengthen that effort. We are a nation of states, ladies and gentlemen. It is not the other way around. And we always have to remember that. And it's up for a state to speak up, and it's up for a state to, to make sure that other states join us. And that's what I do as Lieutenant Governor.